Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Akshit and today we have something different uh, with us here. As I mentioned just a couple videos ago, uh, I have reached the 500 subscriber milestone and it feels really amazing to do that in such a short time. I've been uploading videos for about a month and a half now and I never thought that I would reach this milestone so quickly and it's all thanks to all of you who subscribed, who view my videos, who like them and I hope that I keep making videos that are helpful for you and you keep enjoying them. Anyway coming to today's video, I put a comment uh, on one of my videos asking for questions uh, that I could answer for this video and I got a lot of interesting responses and some of them I'm re really really looking forward to answering. So let's get started. Alright, so first we have a question about my girlfriend. So what is my girlfriend doing? Is she preparing for JE as well? Um, actually, I actually saw another comment saying that I don't actually have a girlfriend and I'm just using it for views and I can assure you she's really real and she's not preparing for JE, uh, she's actually preparing for NEET. She's really smart and really supportive and I know she's going to do really well. Then we have, how did you complete the whole syllabus in less than a year? That's impressive. Thank you so much. And uh, completing the whole syllabus in less than a year sounds intimidating at first. But I assure you, if you put in the hard work, you have the determination to do it, you can easily do it. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of long hours and a lot of sacrifice of a lot of enjoyable things. Uh, not much, but a decent amount and i actually have a video coming up on this i don't know if it will be re released before or after this q a but there i'll go through the process of how i managed to complete the whole syllabus in detail so make sure to check that one out okay so the next question is how many times do i attempt a question before looking for the solution okay so i mm, have seen a lot of mentors and teachers saying that you should not look at the solution and try this a question two or three times and all of that stuff but i've never actually followed through with that i whenever i try and attempt a question if i just can't get it i straight up look at the solution because i think like if you spend two three days on just one question i just feel like it's a little waste of a little bit of a waste of time i just go straight to the solution and move on and uh, but i just don't move on i solve the question again now that i know what to do and see if it clicks in my mind if it does well and good if it doesn't i just shove it in my doubt diary and see whenever i can ask somebody else okay how long have i been an lfc supporter and when is the video of j 2023 coming up the video of j 2023 should be out by now and and liverpool i have been support like i started supporting liverpool because of my father my dad's been supporting liverpool for like he, he's been supporting them since the 1980s so that's a really long time i think i became a full-fledged lfc supporter around the 2013 14 campaign when i really started to understand what the game of football was about and that was when Luis Suarez and Steven Gerrard and Daniel Sturridge, all of these guys were completely destroying the whole Premier League and that was when I actually fell in love with the club and I've been supporting them ever since. Okay, majority of my time goes in watching YouTube. Can you suggest some tips that I can apply to reduce watching them? So, see the biggest reason that you're watching youtube is because that button that website is right in front of you so if you really think that you're getting distracted by youtube provided you're not learning on it maybe try and block youtube like there are a lot of google chrome extensions that come in which you can block specific sites or maybe just i don't know just try and get away from youtube as much as you can like if you have willpower you won't need to do that but sometimes not everybody has the willpower like i don't have the willpower i'm very easily distracted so i have to use external help in order to keep me focused so i think the best advice that i could give you is try and keep the whole youtube website as far away from you as you can while you're studying bro why are you not speaking so 
Firstly, I think I can reach a much wider audience if I speak in English, and secondly, I'm much more comfortable in speaking in English just because I have never been comfortable in Hindi. Like, my Hindi hasn't been that good, and I still don't think it's that good. I, it's certainly not as good as my English is. Um, anyway, I, I, I'll try my best to speak in Hindi for the rest of this video as often as I can. Okay, let's try that. As you stayed in your FAQ, you started prepare at the end of 11th. So backlogs, backlogs, backlogs. Yeah, ha. Mere pas backlogs the. Ah, kafi saare the. I had the entire physical chemistry of 11th, PNC, binomial, and complex numbers in math, and properties of matter, fluids, gravitation in physics. So mere bahut saare backlogs the. तो द बेस्ट वे दैट आई फाउंड टू मैनेज बैकलॉग बिकॉज जो टाइम था मेरे इलेवेंथ की कोचिंग खत्म होने और ट्वेल्थ की क्लासेस स्टार्ट होने के बीच में जो मेरा दो महीने का गैप था उसमें मैंने अपने सारे बैकलॉग्स कवर करे थे जितनी कोशिश कर सकता था मैं और ये जो तुम्हें गैप दिया जाता है इट्स यूजली फॉर स्कूल एग्जाम्स सो आई डिड नॉट पे एज मच अटेंशन टू द स्कूल एग्जाम्स एज आई शुड हैव टू गेट ए गुड स्कोर रादर मैंने बैकलॉग्स क्लियर करने पर फोकस किया एंड दैट हेल्प द लॉट हाउ यू यूज टू एनालाइज मॉक टेस्ट दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन बिकॉज आई हैव मेड अ वीडियो ऑन हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट अनालिसिस ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट आर एंड पर्सनली मैं क्या करता था कि मैं अपने मॉक टेस्ट देता था एंड देन आई लुक थ्रू द होल पेपर एंड आई लुकड आउट फॉर वीक चैप्टर्स चैप्टर्स इन स्पेसिफिक वेर आई डोंट नो द कॉन्सेप्ट और सिली मिस्टेक्स के लिए सो मैं देखता था कि मैंने कहाँ पर कैलकुलेशन एडर करी है कहाँ पर मैंने क्वेश्चन गलत पढ़ा है एंड ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ दोज थिंग्स सो दैट आई कैन लाइक रिकॉर्डेड एंड एनालाइज द डेटा कि मेरी इतनी सारी मिस्टेक्स ऐसे हो रही है तो मुझे इस पर ज़्यादा ध्यान देना है और मेरे ये ये चैप्टर वीक है तो मुझे ये ये रिवाइज करना है आई एक्चुअली यूज द एनालिसिस ऑफ मॉक टेस्ट इन माई रिविजन विच आई विल टॉक इन वीडियो मे बी होपफुली एन एनिमे क्वेश्चन वॉट यू फेवरेट एनिमे एंड विच ऑनर ऑफ एनिमे यू लव एब्सोटली आई लाइक द स्लाइस ऑफ लाइफ द बेस्ट इन डीड आई थिंक शोन एन इज ओवर रेटेड प्लीज डोंट कैंसिल मी बट I think it's a very oversaturated genre, and I, there's I, I like tons of shown in anime. I like Attack on Titan. I like My Hero Academia. But I think Slice of Life is just amazing. I love my favorite anime. Um, it's anywhere from I love I like Your Lie in April. I like Bunny Girl Senpai. But I think the best anime I've ever watched would be either uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood or Code Geass. Both of them are incredible, incredible anime, and if you haven't seen them already, you really should because you're missing out on some real classics here. How long did you study in your grade eleventh, and how many hours did you study? Well, I think I've answered this question a lot of times before. Um, in eleventh, my study, I did not have a set routine. I just studied whenever I felt like studied. So I can't tell you, but. approximately 1 to 2 hours a day there were days where i did not study for weeks on end like that was how my 11th was but in 12th when lockdown hit i was doing 9 hours of study daily 3 hours of those were um dedicated to lectures and 6 of them were dedicated to practice so yeah about 8 to 9 hours i managed every day in 12th is nta abhyas test app relevant to so i think nta abhyas has a lot of good questions but i don't think it's good in the form of a test i think the makers of the test papers because there are so many test paper they have just collected questions from a lot of resources and just put them together it's not structured as a test so if you're thinking of uh, giving the exams uh, on nta i think there are a lot of better options that you can take you can use it as a question bank Absolutely, that's fine. You can go see chapter-wise questions of NDA Bias mock tests. There are a lot of websites and YouTube channels that provide that. Watch that, but I don't think you should attempt them as tests because they're not anywhere close to the actual experience of JEE. My frequency of mock tests twice a week after completing my syllabus. What do you do after studying to refresh yourself? Well. I personally watch some anime, play some chess, talk to my girlfriend, and just anything that makes you feel refreshed 
you should do there are no constraints on what you should do if you feel like reading a book you should read a book if you feel like watching tv you should there is nobody stopping you so just do whatever helps you feel relaxed completely and it will work for you so improving your subject maths is kind of well welcome to the club my maths is really weak too like what i did was just constantly revise lectures and then practice i watched i think i watched on academy's lectures on uh, complex number 3 or 4 times like the same content and i practiced the same questions again and again and i did the same packages again and again like my coaching modules again and like try to do as much as i can and after like i think the fourth time this was like i think in august 2020 like the last time i did complex numbers like that was when i was finally starting to see some results like i'm i'm not saying this will happen for everybody like if i said for p uh, like for pnc this didn't happen for me i could not improve at all in pnc but i could improve a little in complex numbers so i think the best strategy for improving is just to go at it and try your best and keep repeating lectures and um questions and hey you can also try learning from a new teacher maybe that would help uh anyway next someone has advised me to listen to music while working on math i love listening to music i listen to music every time but whether i'm studying whether i'm coding whether i'm making youtube videos editing anything i love listening to music while i'm working i think this i've been doing this for like what Three years now, so it's already encoded in my brain that uh, study time equals music time. But yeah, I mean it's personal preference. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. And like, there's also you might have heard of the lo-fi hip hop radio. Like a lot of people like to hear to lo-fi hip hop. I just listen to my own playlists that I have of popular songs that I like. I mean they're not popular, but any indie songs that I like. Um, I have that playlist. So it's up to you. You should try listening to music. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um it helps with all the distractions around the house and it makes studying a more enjoyable process when you're jamming out your favorite song. So you can you should try it and see if it's for you. Why was there not your name and photo on the Anika mail? Well, I actually sent in my result and I don't know what happened. They like, I I actually commented on their video as well and I sent in my result but I guess they didn't get it because like I was seeing their um result reveal obviously there was a guy who got 100 percentile but I was expecting to see my name there and it just didn't come and the next guy, next highest guy after the 100 percentile was like 99.8 so yeah definitely a lit I was I was a little disappointed in that I didn't get my name in there but that's all of the those are superficial things i don't really care about them matlab 5 minute ka oh fuck i have to speak in hindi matlab wo to 4 minute 4 minute ki khushi hai to that doesn't really matter to me well see i i i think in english so i speak in english like hindi is not for me what types of questions did you solve in dc pande well i only solved level 2 like level 2 single current multi correct match the columns i did not solve level 1 because i had already solved at c verma and i don't think like i didn't think i needed to do level 1 again what problems did you face whole two year well i'll tell you like one of each uh, i think 11th may meri problem thi ki mere paas acha teacher nahi tha aur meri utni meri intensity kafi vary kari thi i also was in an international competition like it was a year long competition that did impact my studies but i won't blame it on all on it like it was a very fun experience but i think ha meri utni seriousness nahi thi uh, 11th mein i think that and completes it all and 12th mein again this uh, in 12 i learned a lot from the mistakes i made in 11th and i did not have too many mistakes but i i think the biggest mistakes that i made was burning out and not paying that much uh, that much attention and getting bored like there was a whole month like the whole month of november i was really bored of the entire syllabus and i did not want like i i and anybody who's like completed iit 
or is like like in the final stages of it can understand i think can understand because like you're studying the same thing for over and over for two years and it, it gets a little frustrating at times so i think it's not really a mistake but i think especially in 12th i think that's the worst thing that could have happened and that did happen to me how to manage study life balance okay yeah, this is a very fun question and i think this is the last question as well so yeah so i think the first time i found out about like how i can manage all of these fun things like playing ps4 and stuff was when i sat down and i wrote down on a piece of paper how much time i actually need like for studying and for eating and or sleeping and all of that stuff and when i like uh, added up all of those hours i think there was only like 17 or 18 hours that i was using well not 18 18 to 20 hours that i was using uh, for all of the essential things that i needed to do eating sleeping studying etc etc and i think the four or six four to six hours were just i was just wasting away and that is when i realized how much time i actually have like that is when i also uh, like just developed a saying in my head was that you have time you just need to find it so just try and see what all you have to do in a day and see how where you can save time like i just realized that all that 4 to 6 hours they were just going around scrolling on my phone or just playing some more ps4 or just like lying around in bed whatever they were wasting time i wasn't actively doing something and when i started actively allotting that like 6 hours that i had doing stuff like this i think that my life became a lot more enjoyable and studying became a lot more enjoyable as well so just get a piece of paper and write down um what all you have to do and you'll surely save more time than you are right now who that was all the questions i'm sorry if i couldn't take yours um i can't take every question i'm really sorry about that but again thank you so much for 500 subscribers it means a lot to me that people are watching my channel they're enjoying my content they are no they feel that my content is helpful um this is the whole reason i started my uh, youtube channel that uh, i thought my content was unique and could be helpful so i'm glad you're finding it that way and uh, so i'll be back with another video i usually post on uh, every tuesday so every week this one won't probably be on a tuesday but next tuesday you'll find another video so check that out thank you so much for watching this special video and i hope to see you soon